Hello, and today I've been out at this antiques fair and I come back with a few items which I want to show you. The first is this, which is probably the Rolls Royce of vinaigrettes. It's a Nathaniel Mills, and Nathaniel Mills is a, a great name, and it's a castle top vinaigrette. These are extremely expensive, especially until now I've only seen them come up in auction an auction they have large fees like 30% commission and things you can see that's the grill there underneath you'd keep a sponge coated in vinegar so that you could smell it and get rid of the nasty smells in the street this one I picked up at the antiques fair um, so my mother needed one for her collection and they are all the money but uh, you pay for the name really makes them easier to sell I guess uh, we didn't pay the ticket price Birmingham 1839 there the castle on the top is Windsor engraved on the back Charlotte it's got nice crisp ball marks inside still got this gilding and that's a nice thing um, a good thing to keep hold of I think uh, the next one is some Russian silver and I don't know too much about it. We know the maker's name and that it was made in Moscow. This is an example of Nilo work which is like silver with a black in between. It, it's quite distinctive. Uh, sometimes it wears away, it doesn't look that good. Uh, it's a nice snuff box it's got good weight to it now if I remember correctly it was 1850 something like that but I might be mistaken bought it for the beautiful designs on it it's a bridge there and some buildings and again it's a good thing not cheap but not as expensive as a Nathaniel Mills item and the Russian market seems to have been doing quite well because I think a lot of the Russians are buying back their heritage and uh, then the final items are these managed to pick up a couple of sovereigns now gold sovereigns are tax exempt for any profit you make on them and I used to have a lot of them which I melted when gold went high and I'm just trying to put together this collection here 10 gold sovereigns I want to get one with each portrait on actually you could fit 11 in here there's been quite a lot of um, Elizabeth portraits so I can't cover every portrait in a box of 10 that's a shield back there with the bun head, the early kind, and then it moves to the George and the Dragon design, and that's a Jubilee head, Victoria. And then today I picked up the veiled head, and also one of the young Elizabethan heads, so they're quite good to keep. Thanks for watching.